Welcome back everyone to our career mode series of NASCAR Heat 3. So in our last race at Las Vegas, uh, it was interesting to say the least. A lot happened. We passed a lot of cars, but ultimately came home in second place. We got a lot of stage points and a lot of points overall in the race. However, we did not get the victory. And of course, that victory would have guaranteed our spot into the next round of the playoffs. So now we're going to have to run hard at Richmond and either go for the win or have a great points day because we already know that the third and final race of this round of the playoffs, we will be simulating. So it's going to be into the hands of the AI as to how that turns out. And probably we're going to finish around 16th to 18th at best. So... Let's take a look at the playoff grid. And there you can see us in fourth position, 23 points above the cutoff line. So that's really good. And if we can follow that up with a really good race at Richmond, similar to what we did at Vegas, then that will give us the best possible opportunity to move on. You notice that, let's see, let's take a look at who is at the bottom. We got Alex Bowman, Jimmy Johnson, and Paul Menard. Uh, that is... They're fairly close to the cut line, though. Then, of course, you see Denny Hamlin, Kurt Busch, and Eric Amarola, who are also very close to the cut line. So we've got several drivers between us and the cut line, which is huge. We need to keep it that way. So what we'll be doing as we back out and head back to prepare for Richmond is during the race, we'll want to see as we're passing cars, hopefully passing cars, that are in the playoffs as well because the more of those we pass the better our chances of gaining points and expanding our lead so let's head into prepare for the race adjust the work plan and we'll do short track and we'll get this one up to as high as we can anyway at 95 100 195 uh, then after this, we go to the road course, which we're not going to worry too much about because we don't have a road, short, road course chassis. So no need to get too terribly concerned about it. Yet another reason why uh, we have pretty much no shot of having a good finish at the Roval when we simulate is we don't have a chassis for it. All right, there we go. Bay number three, short track chassis, 100, 100. And 95, and we got a, a start on bay number one with a speedway chassis. So let's back out, back our way out, go race, and let's head to the track. All right, folks, it is race time here at Richmond. And unless there are any pre race grid adjustments, we'll be starting in the 13th position, which is really good because we're on the inside lane. One place you do not want to be right, at this track green. is on the outside lane. It's like the old Bristol. You will get freight trained right, in a hurry. Easy. All right, these guys are having a little trouble getting up to speed, so we're going to pull out and try to make up at least right a spot or two. All right, it's going to be hard to make that this groove work right uh, right now before we get a little bit of heat in the tires because right now the rear end wants to get squirrely Alright, 19 he's trying to come down and cut us off that is not going to work I'm not putting up with that in this race so if they do that they will get hit That's something the AI love to do and we're simply not going to play that game here at Richmond. Alright, so our goal, of course, is to win the race, but if we can't win, we need to get all of the stage points we possibly can in each of the first two stages, and then, of course, the best finish we possibly can at the end. Yeah, that wide arc they want to make into the corner is a great idea, but... You can't do that when you're fighting for position. Not if you plan on coming down to the bottom with it. Alright, so right now we're having to protect from the 24 as well as try to figure out how we're going to get around the 9. Back 
Car there is on your oh, hello. Side. Okay. Yeah, we'll just do that. So, so much for a good start to the stage. We're now back to 13th. Yeah, these guys just get such a huge run off the corner. Even if you block them all the way down to the yellow line coming off the corner, doesn't matter. The AI essentially run on rails and their speed around the track is not affected by what lane they're running. All right, sitting here in 15th position, that is certainly not going to get us any stage points. Need you to stay on the bottom, right? All right, looks like they're getting there, aggressive with each other as well as me. Stay on the bottom here for me. All right, this would be a great opportunity for us to make up a few spots. We'll drive it down in here fairly deep. All right, that puts us up to 12th. That'll be on the outside lane on the restart, which is certainly not where we want to be. So we really need to get Amarola right here. I do not want to go backwards in positions. That was a great lap. Stay on the All right, I believe we're coming to two to go in the stage right now. Got a little bit of room behind us. All right, two laps left. Let's stay calm. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to do anything with Amarola unless traffic becomes an issue here on the final lap. Last lap, give me one good lap. Hit your mark. All right, he looks like he wants to give us a little bit of room here, but unfortunately, not really in a position I can do anything about it. So we'll come home 12th here in the first stage, and that's not going to get us any points, uh, which is very unfortunate for us. We know Amarola missed out on points as well, and he certainly needed them just like we did. Uh, no reason to pit here. Fuels nor tire will be an issue. So let's go ahead and Coming get green, restarted driver. in stage Almost number two. Ready. Really having to pedal this thing. Outside, outside, inside, inside. You're all clear on the bottom. All right, we got down to the bottom, which is step one. We need to stay here now. You're clear. Really hoping to follow some of these guys through as they make passes on the bottom. We get some of these guys on the outside. We know exactly what that feels like. Careful, still there. Man, these guys get such a great run off the corner. Tremendous launch. There we go. So that puts us up into the top 10, so we just need to build on that momentum now. Oh, that was a terrible entry. Absolutely horrible. All right, let's see what these guys have in front of us. We've got about five laps to get something done here at stage two. So 
So trying out a little different setup as always in this race. And so far so good. It's got a little too much front brake in it, so we're messing up the entry. I'm going to have to back that up. Because we are extremely tight on entry, and that is killing any speed through the center. Oh, that's terrible. Now, in real life, we'd be able to crank on a knob right now and dial some more rear brake in it. Uh, but the way that the physics work in the NASCAR Heat Series, you cannot do that. My understanding is that they're locked in once you hit the track. So that's why you can't do things like the track bar adjustment that has been available to the cup cars in years past. Brake bias, things like that you can't really do anything with for that reason. I'm hoping in the future that they can do something about that because it is very much needed. All right, we are sitting here in 10th position. That will put us on the outside to start stage three, the final stage, and I don't like that idea at all. Unfortunately, not gonna be anything I can do about it right here because we're gonna come home 10th. Top 10, that's stage. That's now, I'm very happy point. about the stage point. That is good. We'll take all the points we can get. Unfortunately, I see some of the other playoff drivers ahead of us getting more points than us. But once again, no reason to pit. 27 laps remaining, and tires nor fuel will be a concern. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, on the outside, we're going to have to be aggressive here. We're going green this time. And so right, this is where the gloves come off. And I would imagine they're going to move me out of the way just as readily as I'll move them out of the way at this point. I would expect nothing less. All right, we got down to the bottom there, which was much easier to do than I stay expected low, it to low. be. Still there. Oh, the 10's going to pinch us down coming off the corner. Now he gives us a little room. That was a good job by him of really hurting my exit speed. up into eighth position. Ooh, look out. There we go. The dreaded apron touch. Instead of helping you rotate a little bit, it absolutely spins you out. All right, so now I've made a huge mistake and got us back to the outside. That car there is on your inside. Oh, we should have been able to clear right there, but instead, he's just going to motor right by on the inside. All right, the 19 car is trying to push us out of the way on the high side and get a little bit more room. Good move by him. We're going to try to stay right there with him. Uh, it's not going to work which is very unfortunate. This is going to put a lot of stress on that next race that we Still there. are going to simulate at the Roval. That is going to be a tense situation. Alright, there we go. Let's get back down to the bottom. Our entry is absolutely horrible right now. But we're going to have to make do Still with there. it. Oh, look out. Little love tap there. We were already out of shape a little bit. Clear. All right, we might be able to get position here. Yes, we will. He wanted to make that Still wide low, arc low. in, and we just can't let him do that. All 
All right, there we go, back up into the top 10. This is a lot of work to maintain positions, essentially. All right, let's see if we can find some sort of rhythm now that we've got a little bit of room. See if we can't gain on these cars in front of us. There are three cars running together. Ooh, look out. All right, so that certainly didn't help anything. Now, Chase Elliott has a monstrous run on us coming off of turn four, which continues to aggravate me that they can do that while running the very bottom. That's not how life works. <laughs> you just can't do that. There's a reason why so many people hit the, the wall on the exit of two and four. It's because they're trying to carry as much speed and they need all the room they can get to get that car to turn. But look at there, the 20 car, just a great run. Now granted, we're not getting great runs ourselves off the corner right now, we're struggling. My test setup is not exactly painting out the way I had hoped, but that's all right, that's part of the deal. Whenever you're testing things, they don't always work. All right, what do we got? Ten laps to go. Looks like Kurt Busch is struggling a little bit as well. So I'm hoping we can get to him and make a pass on him before Eric Jones gets to us and makes a pass on us. Uh, never mind, here comes Amarola, and he, look at this. He is, that, that was no shot there. He pulled straight down to the bottom and was not going to be denied. I would have had to run him all the way down to the yellow line to have any shot of staying in front of him there. Look at that, he's gonna do it again. All right, laps are starting to wind down. I mean, we're right here with these guys, but unfortunately, look at that 11 car behind me. I'm having to try to protect as best I can Still against there. those guys. All right, I thought we were going to be able to get position on the 12 there. That didn't happen. All right, now here comes the 11. Inside, inside. Five to go, driver. Careful. Still there. All right, there you can see round of 16 label above Hamlin. Hang tight there, driver. Hold this line here. Not sure what he was doing right there on the entry. He might have been making one of our entries where he just got a little out of shape. Because right, he was now. definitely Still swerving there. a lot, back and forth quite a bit. Careful. Still there. All right, now you're clear. All right, back up into 12th and staring at the back bumper of Ryan Blaney, who we would very much like to pass here with the last couple of laps. A couple more turns, two more, two to go. Oh, hello. Wow, that was, that was really odd. I can only assume he blew a tire. 
still very odd behavior from the car there, mid corner, and all of a sudden he just turned sideways. So again, very odd. That car ahead of you is pitting. Oh, look out. Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh. Whew. Okay, so we'll come home 11th. That was, quite frankly, a terrible race for us. That was not what we needed at all. However, now comes the important part. Let's see what we do in the points after that. So we'll go ahead and move through some of these screens until we can get to the points. All right, a nice money day, no doubt. That's going to enable us to do our uh, final upgrade to the car to get 100s across the board. But somehow through all of that, we managed to gain a couple points. I think we were, what, 23 points? 21 or 23 points ahead, and now we're 25. Which is really hard for me to believe after all of the cars that seem to be passing us on a regular basis that we're in the playoffs. So we'll take it. We're our plus 25 now. Here comes the crucial point as we make our way back to the main screen. Do we move on to the next round of the playoffs? And that is all going to be determined by what happens next. All right, 1.25 million. I like it. Very good. We're finally starting to get some momentum. Let's see. 19 car. Yes, I did mean to hit you. Absolutely. And Denny Hamlin. Yes, I meant to hit you as well. So we'll go ahead and take care of that. Move on to week number 32. All right, let's go ahead and prepare for this race. Let's go ahead and take care of this. First thing we need to do is improve our equipment. Now that we have the money, we'll go ahead and get to 100s across the board. So uh, the completionist in us is very happy now. And that means we need to do a little bit more training on suspension. There we go. Just enough money to make that happen. All right, so let's adjust our work plan. And again, we're going to have a mismatched chassis for this race, but that's okay. Let's see, we've got road course and then speedway, super speedway. Okay, so we need another speedway chassis for Dover. All right, everybody is working hard. Let's go ahead and get that car as good as we can in bay number one. And then we're going to come back out, simulate this race, and let's see what we've got. If we get that splash screen that pops up and says, you have advanced to the next round of the playoffs, then we'll know we got just enough out of this race to make it happen. But you can see here, it's a minus 12 penalty. I mean, only minus six for this chassis, but overall, we certainly need to go with chassis number one. That gives us the best chance. And there you have it. We advanced. There's our screen. Woo! Really didn't think that was going to happen. And for the first time, we actually made less than a million dollars. We finished 29th. That's, wow, that is certainly not good. But we advanced, and that's all that matters at this point. So that's going to do it for today. Thank you very much for joining me in a very interesting episode in our gameplay series of NASCAR Heat 3.